Hey guys, thanks for watching Weddings by Kled. We are filming tonight's episode from my living room on Super Bowl Sunday. And because it's Super Bowl Sunday, we are going to do this episode in honor of the groom. The groom, I wanna say, like the second most important person in the wedding, we perceive that because there's so much out there about the bride. And you know, it takes two to tango, you guys. Now I'm not saying you gotta plan the whole wedding, okay, don't get too excited here, but there are certain roles. I did a lot of research about this because I wanted to talk about the roles and the responsibilities that grooms have in this whole shindig. You know what? They don't always know. And I see a lot of grooms come into my showroom for meetings and thank you guys for showing up. You know, I think that's awesome. But some of you are like a deer in headlights because you don't know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try to help break it down a little bit for you so you can feel more part of the whole wedding process because you know, you're pretty important. She picked you and this is your day two. So I did some research to see like, what are the traditional responsibilities of grooms? And I came up with kind of the same thing over and over and over. Guys, you don't have a lot. So we're gonna kind of like use the traditional ones as, as a guide, as a framework to kind of help you think about how you may want to be involved. And then of course, we're gonna talk about the Caroline responsibilities that I like my grooms to have. So I looked out there, I looked on the internet, and I came up with kind of the same things that are really kind of obs. Um, that's stupid. I'm just gonna say that are really kind of obvious. <laughs> um, I can't really obs. Is it like obs? Obs. Jacob, help me out. Obvious. Kind of obs. Okay, so what I'm seeing out there for advice for a groom is you have to choose your groomsman. I mean, Duh. Like, do brides choose groomsmen for grooms? You know, I do see some situations where she'll have like eight bridesmaids and he just can't come up with anybody, you know? And some of you just don't have a lot of friends. I actually had a couple of grooms in my career who um, had never met some of the men that they chose to be their groomsmen because they like had like, I, I, I don't know what it, where they play like video games with people. Um, that are all over the, the country. And I guess they befriend these people playing video games with them from afar. And they've chosen them to be their group. These are like the gamer people, okay? But it's not always as easy for, for you guys to just pick friends like girls. Oh, this one and that one and that. You know, I know how it is. It can be kind of hard, but yeah, you gotta choose your groomsmen. So that's number one. Um, number two is choose your clothing. Now I know some of you are thinking like, she chooses all my clothing. And she probably is going to give you some framework because she gets to choose the colors of the wedding for the most part. I mean, some of you do weigh in and I love to see that. But yeah, you gotta go get your tuxes and you gotta go arrange for your groomsmen to get their tuxes. Not that hard, it's easy, you can do it. Um, another traditional responsibility, and this is very traditional and it comes down to more financial, but is paying for the rehearsal dinner and the honeymoon. And this is something that traditionally the groom's family usually does. A lot of times today we see the bride and the groom sharing the financial responsibility for the rehearsal dinner and the wedding. But maybe you could take on a little bit more of the responsibility for those events. The band and the DJ. Choosing the music. That's another thing that I see out there in all of my research that grooms can do. You can research DJs and bands and it can be a lot of fun. So. That's something you can take off of her plate. Planning your bachelor party, yeah, she's not gonna do that. So just, you know, that's something that you can probably handle on your own is the bachelor party. Um, we don't we don't wanna know the details, that's okay. Um, save it. <laughs> Two more things that I'm reading about that are groom responsibilities are the transportation and the bar. Okay, how much fun is that? So you get to talk to the caterer about what needs to go in the bar. If you're getting your own alcohol, you can go out and buy all the alcohol. You can go to the liquor store and pick out all the spirits, go get your wine, your beer. Not so hard to handle, right? I mean, you, you can do that. Um, that's kind of fun. 
And then wedding transportation, getting the limos, getting the, the busing. That's a, that's a pretty important thing that you can take on and take off of her plate. So those are the four to five, maybe there are six things there, not that many things that traditionally the groom should take care of. Okay, so you can handle it guys, I know you can. On to the Caroline list of things that grooms should be responsible for. Now this goes just a little bit deeper. We're getting a little bit more into the psychology of the wedding like I like to do. Um, so you may notice that your fiance may not be herself. I hear some of my grooms say, who is that woman? That is not the woman I fell in love with. Let me tell you why everything's fine, okay? Wedding planning can be a bitch, okay? It can be super overwhelming. She's got a ton of things to do, a ton of things on her plate, and maybe she may get a little bit bradzilla. So don't just like react and go crazy. She's gonna be fine, okay? Show her some support. That is the one thing, the most important thing that you can do right now is just be supportive, just listen, and just be there for her, okay? And that leads me to the next thing. Show the fuck up, okay? Show up in the wedding planning. And then we'll get to showing up on the wedding day, which is a whole different thing. But, you know, sometimes I see my brides come to my meetings and they're by themselves, you know? And they are texting you because they want your input on decisions. They are calling you. They are wondering what you may want. They really do want your input. And I love seeing it when a groom shows up to a meeting and at least listens and doesn't fall asleep because I see that too. Um, so that's something you can do is show up during the wedding planning and guys, show up on the wedding day. And I don't just mean physically, like show up like you mean it, you know? I mean, this is such an important day that she mostly, I know you have too, but she's put a lot of time and effort into this. So notice, like, you know, even though you may be like colorblind, be like, oh my God, you chose the teal tablecloths. I love them. Honey, you did such a great job. So maybe some words of affirmation and just like, you know, being there and being in love and enjoying every moment of the wedding day because guys, it is for you too. You are 50% of this equation, okay? Something else that you can do according to the Caroline list is take on some smaller responsibilities just to like lighten the load for her because she's got a lot to do. So maybe, you know, addresses these days are so hard to come by, like snail mail addresses. So maybe collect the addresses from your guests and give them to her for putting together um, the invitation list. Ask her if there's any errands you can do. Ask her if there's any little things that you can do just to make her job easier. And she may, she'll probably say no, but you know what? Just ask, okay? Guys, you got this. We want happy brides and grooms, okay? We want happy brides, happy grooms, and it's really not hard because when we have happy brides and grooms, we have our hands on each other's butts. And that's what life is all about, right? Hands on each other's butt. That's where you want your hand. Um, so, <laughs> thank you for watching Weddings by Kled. By now, by the time you watch this, we're gonna have a winner of the Super Bowl. I hope it's the team that you chose. And just remember, you guys are a team. So have fun with the wedding planning. Have fun on the wedding day. Savor every moment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Weddings by Kled. It'll bring you fresh new content every single week and help me realize my dreams.